James Stratton Rockford's Park District is struggling to get its budget out of the red. And it looks like cutting services is the only way to do that. Currently, it's in a $462,000 deficit. In September, the board recommended closing Sinisippi Golf Course, Alpine Snow Park, and Alpine Pool. But after public outcry, the board decided to give the golf course one more year. The snow park wasn't so lucky. Last month, the board announced it would not reopen for the season, and the official word on Alpine Pool's future hinges on a vote November 19th. A former lifeguard at that pool is fighting to save it, while the Park District says it doesn't have much of a choice. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie has more tonight. Emily Calgaro worked at Alpine Pool the last three summers, making new friends and plenty of memories. It's just a really good place for everyone to come together, I think. But next year, she may have to look elsewhere for a summer job. We don't want it to be closed. That's why we, we keep using the word suspended. Suspended, meaning the pool could potentially reopen in the future, but most likely won't open next season, something Emily's been fighting since September when she emailed the board about its importance in the community. The relationships I see people build there and the kids when they go there, they're becoming part of the community because they're interacting with the staff members and other children and other families. Board members Jack Armstrong and Julie Elliott agreed, and so does the district's executive director, Jay Sandine. When you lose programs for kids in the neighborhoods, then there's another cost long term. But Sandine also says something has to give. Not having enough revenue at the park district to keep everything that we have uh, going, and swimming pools are very expensive to operate. And there's another problem, too. Sandine says upcoming minimum wage increases mean more costs to the district, and the Park District predicts it will eventually have to raise property taxes to make ends meet. We cannot operate without any increase in revenue at all. While Emily says she understands the challenges the Park District faces, she says that's not going to stop her and her friends from looking for options to save it. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. The Rockford Park District's Board of Commissioners meets at 5 p.m. November 19th to take its final vote on what facilities it will suspend for the coming year. Jack Armstrong was the board member who proposed that tax hike at the last meeting. In that meeting, Armstrong said he wants to raise taxes as soon as next year. But other board members say they'd like to wait and see if they can reduce the Park District's footprint to a more manageable level. If the board decides not to raise the taxes, this will be the sixth year in a row it has held the line. A new attention